Do you want to speak tasty English? You might be thinking how someone can speak tasty English. Well, the secret ingredient is with me. So I'm going to share a recipe with you. And using the secret ingredient, you will be able to speak like a native speaker. Also, your speech will be tasty. Hello, this is Amrita, your ESL teacher. Welcome to TESOL 3 Minute English. Today, we're going to learn some American expressions that's been used by American native speakers. So, in order to speak like a native speaker and speak tasty English, you can use these expressions in your daily life situations. Let's get started. Expression number one, I'm in a pickle. Does it really mean that you are in a pickle? No, it means that you are in a dilemma, you are in a situation where you are in a trouble or you are in a challenging situation. So if you are in a dilemma, then you can use this expression like, I am in a pickle. Can you make one sentence using this expression? Today, I am not going to share the example sentence, but I am going to tell you the meaning of each expression so that you can use your brain, you can repeat after me the expression and after repeating it, you can make at least one sentence using these expressions in the comment box. Expression number two, I am all thumbs. I am all thumbs. I'm all thumbs. It means that you are very clumsy. You are clumsy. What does it mean? It means that uh, you cannot do anything properly. You are uncontrollable. You messed up uh, almost everything. So in this kind of situation, you can use this expression for you like, I'm all thumbs or John's all thumbs. John's all thumbs because he cannot do anything properly. He's so clumsy. So instead of saying he's so clumsy, you can use this. He's all thumbs. Expression number three. She is a peach. She is a peach. Well, what does it mean? It means when the person is really sweet and helpful, then you can use it. So many, many speakers always use this uh, to talk about a girl or a female because this expression doesn't really go with boys. So you can say, my sister is a peach. Can you think of one example sentence? Can you make one sentence using this expression? Expression number four. And this expression is commonly used by American English speakers. She is a stew. She is a stew. She is a stew. It is commonly used by American English speakers. So this expression is commonly used by American English speakers and they speak tasty English. Doesn't it sound tasty to you? So use this expression, but what does it mean? Does it really mean she is chicken stew or beef stew? No, it's nothing about the food. But if someone says she's stew, it means she is upset. She is upset. Expression number five. He is full of beans. He is full of beans. He is full of beans. No, it's not that vegetable. He is full of beans. It means that he has all the energy in himself. He is a multitasker. He is very energetic. When someone is very energetic, then you can use this expression for him or her. Like, he is full of beans. She is full of beans. I'm full of beans. I've been working since morning. I'm full of beans. That means I'm kind of multitasking person and I am full of energy. I'm very energetic. Expression number six. It's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. Um, it's commonly used by native speakers. Uh, even British English speakers always use this expression, but most commonly used by American English speakers. Uh, it's not my cup of tea. So these expressions are really tasty. So what does it mean? It's not my cup of tea. It means that you don't care about it. 
you don't care about it it doesn't go with you so you can say it's not my cup of tea for uh, no I'm not going to share any example today because today I want you to make sentence use your brain okay brainstorm and make one sentence and write in the comment box it's not my cup of tea here's the top banana here's the top banana here's the top banana very interesting expression and very tasty right so when you say he's the top banana uh, it means that he's the head man uh, for example your CEO is the top banana uh, for your company so you can use this expression uh, here's the top banana okay so when you are talking about someone who is in the highest position of an institution or organization then you can use this expression like his top banana okay the last but not the least that's corny that's corny that's corny okay so what does it mean it means that it's sentimental old and not interesting anymore so you can talk about any program or any uh, anything that you have been watching um, a tv show maybe a movie um, or a daily uh, soap you can talk about a daily soap like that that's corny i don't like it anymore so that's corny when uh, you say that that's corny that means it's not um, giving you any more fantasy it's old so it's kind of sentimental so have you found these expressions quite tasty yes yes these expressions are really tasty expressions and you can use these expressions to sound like a native speaker your speech will be more like a native speaker and natural and tasty i hope you have found this episode quite useful for you um, next time i will meet you with new expressions till then take care and have peace